Uh, one of the most interesting stories in Stranger from Abroad is the story of the friendship between Mary McCarthy and Hannah Arendt. And, uh, this is how I describe the way it began. Mary McCarthy was Hannah's closest friend. As it happens, though, their friendship did not begin smoothly. Hannah and Mary were both guests at a party in the spring of 1945 at the home of Philip Rav, an editor of Partisan Review, the leading journal of a renowned group of left-wing anti-Stalinist New York intellectuals. Neither woman had achieved the degree of public prominence that lay only a few years ahead, but both already stood out in the crowd. Arndt, for the authority, breezy insouciance, the skeptical wit and easy erudition with which she conveyed mastery of European culture, and for an extraordinary electric vitality, Mary McCarthy said, that filled her with delight and wonder. McCarthy, for her part, was a dazzling intellect and daring iconoclast with an acerbic manner and vivid good looks. The conversation that evening turned to the hostility of the French to their German occupiers, and McCarthy joked that she felt sorry for Hitler, who was so absurd as to long for the love of his victims. Arendt, incensed by any expression of sympathy for Hitler, and perhaps not reading the subtlety of McCarthy's wit quite properly, snapped, How can you say such a thing in front of me, one of Hitler's victims, a person who has been in a concentration camp. She stormed out of the apartment, but not before telling Rav that he ought not to allow such things to be said in his home. <clears throat> After that, the two women saw each other from time to time at various meetings at which politics and literature were discussed. Each noticed the shared elements of their world views, but the estrangement between them was not overcome until three years later, when, after one such meeting, they were waiting on an otherwise empty subway platform, and Hannah approached Mary. Let's end this nonsense, she said. We think so much alike. Mary apologized for her flippant comment, which she had not intended to be hurtful, and Hannah confessed that she had not been in a concentration camp, but only in an internment camp in France. Thus began a friendship that Carol Brightman, Mary's biographer and the editor of the Arendt McCarthy Correspondence, has characterized as a romance. Not sexual, but not entirely platonic either, in the sense that each longed for the companionship and presence of the other.